What do you think, Cindy Lou? It's good. What is it you're doing? I am making these vegetable soup for our burnout tonight. And? What do you got in there? So, what I got so far is I've got cut up beef. Stay here! Uh, Dogs. Beef that I cut, stew beef from our cow. Onions and garlic, lots of garlic. Uh -huh. And a little bit of corn oil. And here in a few minutes, I'll put this. It's a cooking wine, it's a burgundy cooking wine. You it's, make it? No, you can drink it too. I oh. bought it, but I don't like burgundy wine. It's got a weird flavor to it. It's so. stained the bottle too, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the neatest cook spot. Makes a good bell too. What the plan is, we're going to get this really pretty much done. And then we'll uh, take it down where we're going to do the bonfire and build another small fire to keep it warm. But the tripod over it then down there. So <laughs> a couple nights ago um, we were talking about all this so I put a bunch of wine in there. Um, we were talking about this and I went to bed and I was thinking he is not going to make me stand in that fire with my cook pot. I'll burn like a witch. <laughs> so I that she, night she's talking the the bonfire. big 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 bonfire. So in the middle of the night I woke up and then in the morning I shook Gary woke and said to him, I am not standing in that fire. You're going to have to do something different. He goes, what are you talking about? So I told him and he laughed at me. Yeah, no, here we were going to build a, build a small little campfire, put the tripod over it, put the, put the stoop, stoop, it's stew and soup, so it's stoop. Over a small cook fire and the big, big bonfire, we're not going to be able to get within 20 feet of, probably. As my dad would call it, it's either a thick soup or a thin stew. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to go in and I got bread in the oven, so I got to go in and check it. Well, so far the tripod's working. This fire pit is so tall. We got people riding by on horseback is what the dogs are all complaining about. That uh, anyway, the this fire pit is so big around. I had to really kind of sprattle leg this um, tripod, but shoot, it looks like it's going to work just fine. I've got chain and another hook. We can raise and lower the height of it. This thing does have a lid for it. I don't know if she wants that on there or not. Witch's brew. Puppy dog tails, frog eyes. What else you got in there? Well, I had the pole teeth of a hen, but I could <laughs> only do it on the Thursday night of the first full moon. That was difficult. But I did find the teeth of a hen. I just kind of fibbed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I have a newt. So what do we got there? So this is the beef broth I made yesterday. I cooked these bones from our cow. And this is the broth. And I'm going to put this broth in here and then let it cook. I'm going to probably have to add a little bit of water and then bring the veggies out. But right now what it's got in it is just the wine. this might be good. Pretty sure it might be good.
can see Lily's helping me. Yeah. So I cut up a whole bunch of different vegetables. Most of them came from the garden, except for the celery and um, the parsley. And then I have the secret ingredient, morel mushrooms. Ooh, morels. And some more broth over here. Ooh, boy. Might be boiling too hard. It might be. Okay, I moved it a little lower. We can move it back. Here, hold on. Hold that. So I, went ahead, so I went ahead and cut everything up and stuff so that, it's, so that it's all ready to go and all you have to do is just get your pot on and get everything going. It's nice to have your prep work done which is cutting and peeling and I washed everything really good. This is going to be really, really tasty I think. And of course, my secret, some morel mushrooms that are all kind of squished up that we picked this year. I think with the morels, a little, a little goes long ways with them because they are so pungent, I guess. Maybe I don't know if pungent is the word to use. Well, that and in our area, we don't, we don't find them often enough to waste the morels. I mean, we add a little bit here and there, but we don't overdo it either. It's, it might be a while before we find any more. So then, what I'll do with a little bit of this broth is... That's just more beef broth? It's just beef broth. Just put a little bit more in. So like I said, it's either a thick, thick, thick soup or a thin stew. Okay. And the main thing now is just kind of... It looks really good. Kind of keep it... You want it to simmer, not to boil. Um, that way the flavors should all combine in really well. I'll have to get a cup and taste it because I really don't put a lot of salt or pepper on stuff simply because I'm not supposed to have that much salt. So I usually tell people when they come here that they have to salt their own food. But I will try. So, okay, you ready for the lid? I'm ready for the lid. What do you think about the fire? Is it in the right spot or should I move it over more? Um, maybe centralize this kind of in the middle. Okay. Mm. Pretty tasty. I might need some more, a little bit of some salt, a little bit of some pepper. Smokes in my eyes. Oh wow, that is going to be really good. But once it cooks, wow, it's just even starting. I mean, yeah. it's it's not even really going yet. Mostly. Okay, so let's move this in a little bit. That'll raise it and get it more in the middle. There we go. This one out a little bit again. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So mostly, um, now I just want it to, to slow, slowly simmer. Not really a boil, but not really a, you know, just kind of simmering away to what it will happen. And as the vegetables cook and stuff, it'll start infusing the, the flavor from them too. Most of everything that's in there is in from our garden, like I said, except for the parsley. So this is... This is my first time with this. We'll have to see how it goes. First time with the witch's pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I like that thing. And um, along with dinner tonight, not only are we having this, but Jeff and Greg are going to bring over a tri-tip to go with it, which I thought was kind of silly because there's probably going to be more than enough. But I also baked some honey whole wheat bread. And I just took that out of the oven. And for a bit of dessert, if somebody wants some, I did um, a pound cake, they call them, which is just a loaf cake, a lemon one. So now you eat a bite of that, you end up with another pound is why. <laughs> well, in the old days, it was a pound of butter, a pound of sugar, a pound of this, a pound of that. And so I used basically an old time recipe for it. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, wish you guys could join us. I bet you would have a great time. Anything missing is your witch's hat. Yeah, it's packed away. It's in my Halloween stuff. Dead. Well, that's me. Yeah, that's not for another. Well, that keeps getting so dead. 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 Thank you. 